Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. What we got here? This is dumb. Yes, it is. 2099, issue one for Parody Press. This is the gold foil cover. See the foil? Cover by Mill Mouse and somebody named Fosher. Okay, Parody Press, real simple. Parody Press, hey, babe, Parody Comics. They, got at, they came out in the comic boom of the early 90s, did a lot of this stuff and just kind of disappeared. And the thing about them was, is that, you know, first thing, look how thin this comic is. This was two. 95 when this shit came out in 1993 for a black and white comic and just because it has this cover and they did this is parody in marvel's 2099 line their doom 2099 comic bill moss did a little bit of on bill moss there's bill moss he got discovered by doing art for wizard magazine he would you know they print fan art he did a center and got a career out of it. he did uh this he did some work on um zen intergalactic ninja i don't know what he's doing now Let's see how the comic is. And the reason why I pulled this one out is longtime fan of the uh, the video version of Ass Hat Podcast, Todd Smith. I think it's Todd Smith. It's the guy with the uh, janitor from uh, Crack Magazine as his avatar. Talked about Parody Press. I thought I'd pull this out. And basically what it is is, welcome to the third and last installment of Parody Press's 2000 Dallas on 2099 series. If you don't have the others, Pummeler 2099 number one and Rummage, Pummeler's Horse Punisher. Rummage was Ravage, which was the first comic fully written by Stan Lee forever, and it's horrible. Then go get them. This column of nonsense can wait. Besides, if you don't already have them, your three part cover puzzle will be looking pretty funny right about now because all three foil covers fit into one really cool scene. So like I said, all the covers were foil. Be sure to check out our other parody press, Robin 3000 number one, which is, of course, the Robin, or there's a little Robin 2000 series back then, by Lyle Dodd, Mark Lewis, and Moose Ballman. On sale now, as you may recall, Robin, R-I-B-B-I-N, apostrophe, played quite a role in this series. There are more laughs in his own books, so be sure to check it out. The writer of the 2099 series, Ross Turner, is currently working on other parody press titles. He's a big mag ma Mad Magazine fan and tries to write his parody stories like the Mad Movie Sends Ups. He says, I'm not hip to the new wave of hard artists. I still like the Gene Colan and John Byrne stuff that I used to read. Hey, I love Gene Colan, R.I.P. Sir. John Byrne's usually pretty good. Ross is a graphic artist and cartoonist as well as a human writer. But that's not all I can do. I also like to write science fiction stories and hope to do a lot more of it in the future. Unlike myself, Ross gets up at 4.30 a.m. to write scripts while listening to music by Ravi Sh Shanker. Okay, never heard of it. It relaxes me, says Ross. For some reason, Ross... I have, for some reason, Ross, I have no trouble being relaxed at 4.30 a.m. I don't either, because I'm usually asleep. Ross Sever rounds out our 2099 penciling staff. He's a Texan from Texas. who's penciled several books for Parody Press, among, uh, among them Old Blood, number one. Young Blood, of course. Supreme, Supreme, I've done a Supreme read-along on this channel, with writer Don Chen. Jeremy Heyer is this issue's primary anchor. He, is assist, he assisted Steve Mitchell on such books as that. Detective Comics and Predator. Assistant Jeremy is James Rogovoy. And yours truly. Beginning of September, we'll be bringing you two spectacular books in glorious full color. Nightfall, The Rise and Fall of Splatman. Of course, Nightfall. Number one. And Clint the Hamster annihilates the comics' greatest valiant, defiant superheroes in the marvelous Ultraverse. <laughs> okay. Clint the Hamster is one of the characters from Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters. So somehow Parody Press got the rights. And they're making fun of Comics' Greatest World. Valiant, Defiant, Marvel, and Ultraverse, but not DC for some reason. Parody Press wants to bring you the very best in humor comics, but we need your reaction and input. Send all comics to Parody Press by law. Chesapeake, Virginia. Bye for now. Raymond E. Editor. First printing. Blah, 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 blah. That's kind of neat. He's got Prodigy. And it's just black and white. It's a parody of, like, we got, look, we got Iron Man 2020, armor plated Rastafarian, Robin 3000. Terminator 2, robotic hairdressing cousin of Terminator 2. Terminator 2, robotic hairdressing cousin of Terminator 2. Beer Meister, independent brewing crime boss. Oh, jeez. That's not really good art. These are, the comedy is fairly funny. I like this. According to my contract, I'm to be featured in a four-page super battle. When do my fans get to see some blood and guts? That's it, I'm walking. I'm not laying a hand on anyone until I get my origin recap, so there. Parody press unfairness, they're doomed character. Doom 2099 is not a bad series. I heard towards the end it got kind of janky, but I've read the first year or two. It's really entertaining. This, no, it's not good. This is one of those, I picked this up locally out of my local comic shop. Um, What the hell's the name of that place? Shit. 
shit. I can't remember the name of the local comic shop. I can't remember. It's in Brookhaven, Mississippi, and it was in their cheap bin. So I got, and the guy kind of laughed. He's like, I have not seen this forever. Oh, it's Wayne's World butt cam. Whoa, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Little Orphan, Little Orphan Annie. They, and I've been told they've had they had some really good books. This is not one of them. And I wouldn't mind picking up like, like I kind of like this. Like this guy kind of looks like Cable. This guy right here. Here we go. Parody Press back issues. Oh, here we go. At NLS at Radio Web to Black Belt Hamster Classics 1 through 5. You can get an autograph for $3.50 each or regular for $2.50. At NLS at Radio Web to Black Belt Hamsters Lost Treasure. Same thing, autograph for certain $3.95, regular for $2.95. At NLS at Radio Web to Black Belt Hamsters Gold Edition. Yeah, they had a lot of variants. Same thing. You know, dollar more to get it autographed. At NLS at Radio Web to Black Belt Hamsters Lost in New York. I wonder if this is around the time the Ninja Turtles were in the return to New York. So, Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters graphic novel. Arrow Man, which I've never read. Bloody Hot, yep. Instead of Bloodshot. Bragade. Cable TV by Bill Moss. Of course, parody and cable. I hate having to have cords on this. Cyber Force, of course, Cyber Force. Death and Taxes, of course, Death High Cost of Living. Then Dork Horse, Dork House Comics. And then we got more pages. We got dorkier images, and there's two different versions of that. We got Enchanter, which I've never heard of. The Incredible Punk. Met I like this. Meadowlark, and it's supposed to be Shadowhawk. Uh, that's a very <laughs> weird. Meadowlark, uh, Meadowlark Lemon from the Harlem Globetrotters. Monkey Business. Uh, that's written in Stimpy, is what it looks like. Old Blood, of course, I mentioned there. That's a second printing. Petworks versus Wild. Um, wild Cats versus Petworks. Pits, The Pummeler, Quantum Creep, I wouldn't mind finding that one, and Rank and Stinky, and up here we got Savage, Sewage Dragoon, Silly Surfer, Spineless Man 2099, that must be like Spider-Man, Star Black, Stupid Man, Scarce, Sold Out, Supreme, Trek Teens, Venom, Unfunny X-Cons, X-Force, Yawn, so spawn, and zero, Zen number zero, limited edition. I have a Zen number zero somewhere. Aishida. Moss. Mouse. Ienko. Tomorrow's hot, hottest artist today. Entity Comics, exclusively for me. I think Parody Press was a spinoff of Entity. I can't prove that. I don't have any proof. Spasm. Snot your ordinary card set. Coming September from Parody Press. Okay, Plasm. From Defiant. The first issue was, or the zero issue, was a card set. You piece together in your, your little pages, put them in, and fill on the comment. Remember, I've got that. I had to pull that out and show it off one time. Well, they made a parody of it. Then we got the one to read, comic book collector. Only 250 cover price. Ask for it at your local comic shop or newsstand. And we got, look what people are saying about comic book collector. I really enjoy reading comic book CBC because of the wonderful articles and advice. I don't remember comic book. Clint the Hamster annihilates the comic's greatest value at Defiant Superheroes and the Marvelous Ultraverse. And Bill Mouse covering what we got here. We got guy from Plasm, the girl from Plasm. That looks like Bloodshot. X from Comics Greatest Worlds. I don't know who this is. There's Dr. Eclipse or Solar. Zen, Intergalactic Ninja issues. It. There's so many Zen titles. Art right, and story about superstar Bill Mouse, premium foil cover, coming June 93. The world's first J. Lee Chromium cover. Issue zero in color coming December 93. And then on the back we got, ow, not to hold it up, ouch. And we got the pummeler shooting spineless man while rubbish looks along, whatever the fuck his name is. And then we got doom. And this is Sam, oh, holy fuck. This is Sam Keith. I knew that art looked familiar. That is actually not bad. That made it worth behind. Well, I hope y'all enjoy that. Remember that? Dumb, 2009. Now I want to get the other two issues just to form the, the cover, see what the fuck it looks like. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.